All right, dishwasher's ready to go. I'm ready to go. I think I'm gonna go take some photos today. I'm not 100% sure, but I think I'm gonna go up east. I might go up uh, Surrey, East Point Lighthouse. We'll have to see what I come up with. Let's go. Here we are at Surrey Lighthouse. It's uh, Eastern Prince Edward Island. On my way to West or to East Point Lighthouse, and uh, this is the beautiful Surrey Lighthouse. Now I'm here. I'm taking some quick pictures of it. I tried to take some from down there. They turned out nice. Figured I'd come up here and get a few more. My aperture is 5.6, ISO is 50, and I'm shooting at 1 100th of a second, and uh, it's turning out really good. I have my polarizer on the 17 to 40 using the 5D, and it's turning out really good. I'm happy with the shot. The clouds are adding a little bit of drama to it, and all in all, I'm uh, happy with my shots here. The only downside is the grass is not green, which doesn't really help. But it is what it is. The rule of thirds is coming into play, and uh, it's going to make for a good image. So now we're going to continue on to East Point and uh, hopefully get something good up here. Um, I got uh, a little bit of time, not much, I might be a little bit behind the eight ball by the time I get there, but uh, it is what it is and uh, we'll have to work some magic here. East Point, first thing you got to do when you arrive at lo on location is basically scout out the location, figure out where you're going to shoot from. Ideally, I want to be shooting from down uh, along the water's edge, but I'm not sure if that's going to work. Uh, I'm not sure how to get down there yet, but it's something I'm going to have to look into here. But uh, first off, got to do some scouting around, just uh, check out the situation and uh, see how it goes. Basically what I'm doing is I'm trying to get leading lines, I'm trying to get the, a little bit of white caps going up the, uh, just like that, going up the shore and then the lighthouse in the background. Now in this case I, I'm going to have to use a bracket ex exposure just because there's so, there's so much shadow, so many shadows here. Basically we have, uh, I'm exposing for the, the mid ground, the foreground here and then the background or the mid ground. The lighthouse in the back is a different exposure. So I actually have to do two exposures here, blend them together. I usually don't like doing this, but in this case, you gotta. So basically my, my settings are quite simple. My aperture is 13. For the, uh, for the exposure along the water, uh, I'm at 1 13th of a second, and my ISO is 50. Uh, the, now, in the case of where I'm exposing for the background, my settings are going to be exactly the same, except for my shutter speed is probably going to be 1 50th of a second. I have the polarizing filter on there with the uh, Canon 5D and the 17 to 40, uh, so it's, uh, it's a good setup. and. Uh, I'm liking what I'm getting. Mm -hmm. 
So here we are at East Point Lighthouse, and what I'm going for is top right, top left corner, bottom left corner. Top left is uh, is going to be the sun. Bottom left is going to be this little boat. The right hand side we have the lighthouse, so it's going to take up pretty much the full uh, right side of the frame, and the sun's going to be a, a nice dimension to add into there. So. Uh, Really happy with my uh, time here at East Point. Uh, the shots turned out great, and uh, all in all, I've been uh, quite happy. The settings I'm using are f14, uh, 1 250th of a second. My ISO I bumped up to uh, 400 to get some star trails coming out of the sun, and uh, it's been a great time. Mm -hmm.